Hello beautiful Cancerians, thank you so much for joining me for your February reading. I'm Lorian and this is a general reading for you Cancerians who have your sun in Cancer, rising or moon sign in Cancer. So this is using the um, Enchanted Tarot this month, it was a Christmas present from my mum and look how big these cards are. This is the normal size cards this is the other ones but the good thing is they're very dreamy and detailed so hopefully we can get some good stuff and look at the backing isn't that beautiful isn't that lovely so i apologize for the fluctuating light as well it is meant to be daytime um but it's actually completely overcast and there are storm clouds and everything so i had to put my lamp on so sometimes it'll be brighter when the cloud passes and other times it will look like it's the depth of winter, which I suppose it still kind of is. All right, so let's see what we can get for Cancerians. If you'd like a reading, by the way, the link is below. Uh, just click on the image of the readings that you kind of want. So this tarot card ones, the spirit guides, this past lives, all that kind of stuff, because it's a new system I've got there now. And if you would like to email me either for a spell or just a question the email is laurientaro at gmail.com but all the links that you need to get in contact with me or give me a coffee or anything like that are down below in the description box Ooh, we've got prince of pentacles right so gemini had this one but it was at the position down what am i getting here for cancerians because i always get different interpretations um well i rarely get the same actually so let's have a look So my eye was immediately drawn to the water of this card, which I will show you in just one second. But there's definitely something that's growing for you here. There's something that's intriguing, me at least, um, that's really having this feeling of understanding and all that kind of stuff. So um, this, I think, is what's... Okay, I'll just have a look and see. Yeah, so this, I think, is what's going on for you, um, underneath you the feeling beneath mm -hmm. your emotions are gonna give it's really hard to describe what they're actually showing me at the moment so hang on let me just okay so you've got this water here and it's all kind of flowing into the thing and he's going to try and cross the water to the tree and I feel like this is where you are right now. You are giving life here. You are sustaining this growth period, I think, with your emotions and your intuition. And I think this is basically probably from the eclipse at the end of January, um, where you are moving into something that maybe you didn't even realise you could do. Um, it could be a new skill. It could be something that you've now woken to, the realities of a person that you were very close to, or something like that. But there's something that's opening your eyes here. Now, normally, I would say that with this Knight of Pentacles, this would be more about efficiency and, you know, very grounding. But it's more about having that kind of life force to the grounding, if that makes sense. It's having that sensitivity and that emotion that drives you that um, dreaminess that drives you because my eye was immediately drawn here nowhere else on the card definitely there so this is all about you and having that um, connection to the water basically I really do feel that very strongly and then you have the ten of pentacles here which is a beautiful beautiful card you have the king of hearts which is the king of cups here don't worry I will hold them all up the eight of swords okay so yeah you are breaking free out of something the Ace of Pentacles, wow, and the Nine of Swords. And at the bottom you have the Ace of Wands, cool. All right, so this is quite a jazzy card, isn't it? Look at it, it's got the tiger, and you can't really tell on the um, camera, but this is bright pink. This is really bright pink, um, and it's beautiful. So you have got a new beginning coming through this month. You've got more energy. I think you've got a lot more um, time to spare. You're feeling more ready to go out and do stuff. Um, celebrating something. That's what they just said to me. Celebrating. Um, there's also an inspiration that's coming through and a creation that's ready to be given. So that's what's coming through for that card there. Oh, they're sliding everywhere. Hang on, let me put them over here. Alrighty. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Right, they just told me a star is born. So maybe if you are pregnant or expecting or somebody is expecting in your family, they're saying that a star is born. Um, I think that's either a prediction or a literal thing. Like something is going to be born within you. Um, I feel that this is quite significant. Right, so they're showing me this. I don't know how I can do this on the screen for you, um, but all the things down there, she is living underneath here, so it's kind of like the role of Persephone. She may be feeling, or you may be feeling deep down, quite conflicted or quite restricted in what you can and cannot do, um, and you may be feeling as though you are not able to reach out to people, and look at this beautiful waterfall effect in the background, I really do love that. So you may be masking your emotions or hiding behind your emotions while they crash around you and you may be feeling like you need to protect your emotions because this could be you protecting your emotions in the background and going no I'm not letting anybody in but then you have it here this is you this is you know if you don't let the emotions in you can't experience them you can't grow from that so I think this is the month that you're gonna grow so much from your emotions and you're gonna learn from last year that's the main thing that's coming through for me right now okay in the middle of the month you have the ten of pentacles and also the ace of pentacles so beginning and ending right here and i feel that this is to do with you want to build your castle you want to build up to you want to have that potential it's coming it's coming it's kind of like the quilt turns into the silk you know um so it's very much that kind of refinement within you i do feel that you are wanting to be prosperous you're wanting to manifest and all that kind of stuff then you're going to have establishment of that this feeds into this so i feel like there's going to be days where this month where you just feel like you don't want to do anything however your mind is still going to be active so you do have to make sure that you're not focusing on the emotional negatives because you have so much the promotion <laughs> of your inner workings here and i think you can manifest anything so the clutter what comes with a new idea especially with the ace of wands the clutter that comes with a new idea of like oh it's everywhere has to be refined you see how refined this is compared to that one so that's all over the place with patterns this is more refined and i think that's basically your growth throughout this month you are looking at the seeds of an idea, growing that up, but then having that refinement throughout the course of it. Now, this could be in regards to a relationship. You finally realise what you need to do. Maybe let somebody in. Um, or you could be looking at how to make yourself stronger in regards to your emotional nature. And this is the spark of an idea that you build on. In career, I do think that people are going to respond well to you, but you do have to make sure that you pick and choose your battles um you don't have to defend yourself against everybody and some of them you do need to let in others no but yeah you do need to just pick and pick the right ones and here we have the nine of swords so this to me always comes through when people aren't sleeping very well um but also this is about your anxiety and maybe some kind of despair again it feels like you're blocking something out here you're kind of going no 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 i don't want that i don't want that and you're kind of shutting out what looks to me like a black hole so you're trying to stop yourself going deeper into this despair but i also think that you may be too prickly with some people um i also feel like this is you defending yourself very well however let's have a look you have the king of cups here so it could be that you are a really against romance um and you don't want to go into a relationship again you are not really feeling it or it could be that a king of cups which is what it is also a cancerian a scorpio or a pisces man is being quite um alluring and you're not really sure whether you're ready for it it could be that your partner is driving you insane <laughs> and um, you're really feeling defensive towards him or it could be that you are just trying to 
maneuver yourself in some way but either way i do feel that this is coming forward in a very strong and positive manner there isn't much that i can say that you're doing wrong apart from your emotional nature is a little bit up and down so if you can manage that this month and if you can become more confident and soothe yourself and grow and have trust that you're going to make the right decisions i think that this is a good time for you because you don't want to waste the potential of that ace of wands really and I do think this is going to really help you. Okay, let's have a look. E, Menaz. So this is a self. And I think this is also being aware. Um, so this I'm going to put here. Because you do need to be aware. You do need to have that feeling of understanding. And you do need to make yourself maybe more in touch with things. I think for some of you, you've actually cut yourself off from psychic ability, actually. Especially if you've got cancer in your moon. Or moon in cancer um i think you've cut yourself off from your psychic ability and they're calling you at the moment to say hey we need you so please answer their call if you feel like you can all right and then i've got two more so i've got isa sorry not isa now these this is endurance survival determination maybe a little bit of patience as well um, so I think that this is probably going to go here. You do need patience. You do need to have that feeling of understanding and that feeling of determination. I think you're blocking yourself out from going further down into maybe emotional distrust of somebody. But I do also feel that you need the determination to see it through. You will also use your psychic ability to see through people who are very manipulative around you. And you're going to be able to block yourself from them. So that's really good. And then you have a ruse, which is about physical strength. So you're going to be strong. You're building up. You've got a very solid foundation. You're going to have all the ideas you need to make yourself stronger. And I think it is basically about putting the right foundations down for you you want to build on rock not sand basically so i do see this coming up a little bit extra for you it may be a little bit of emotional up and down but otherwise i don't see anything to be a really cause for concern do let me know in the comments below if you have anything planned this month because i do love to hear from you and also if you do want to um have a reading from me the link is below and also if you want to buy me a coffee the link is below too because i know some people can't afford readings but they want to show their support support so that's down there as well and just enjoy this month if you can i mean i know it may sound pretty heavy but it's just to kind of prepare you for it and i really hope that you have a really good month i'm looking forward to seeing what happens in february but in the meantime blessed be everybody and i'll speak to you soon